uh, has been one of the more mainstay maps, really. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's the map. And actually, when I was thinking about the, the matches today, the potential matches we might see, I would just love to see Melty's defense on King's Row against Not Enigma's offense on King's Row. Not Enigma loves playing offense, loves King's Row, it's their favorite map, but Melty uh, won the first EU week, I think, by shutting down teams on King's Row. It was extremely impressive defense, so maybe in the future we'll see, but right now we just get to start off Overwatch again with King's Row. Yep, and this is just a map that's been very, very just relevant in the EU meta. And also, I mean, we're seeing a lot in NA, of course. This is he not Enigma's favorite map as well. Hubris, of course, actually being, I think, one of the first teams, if not the first team, to defeat not Enigma on it just uh, yesterday. Yeah, and in a pretty good fashion as well. So we'll see if we see the Hex Strat. I'm going to keep plugging the Hex Strat till someone does it. Yep. Hex Strat being Hex Strat. running an offensive sniper and then getting a pick and moving off of it. It's the best Strat in the world. Absolutely. What do you think about this defense? Uh, this defense right now? So we're looking at the Sad Boys defense. We have Soonhail on Reinhardt, Surefor on Genji, Reaver on Soldier 76. We have Double Lucio's Rep 143 and Adam, respectively, and Zen on Zarya. Yeah, the Double Lucio is something we see a lot on this map, but usually on the offense for this first point. So that's going to be a bit of a switch to see that on defense. Now, on offense for Team Fnatic, Stefan is going to, or Stefan is going to be playing um, Farah. Too Easy is going to be on Tracer for now. Winghaven is going to play Winston. Lucio is going to be played by Unfixed. Valutaja, Taya, I've been corrected, is Diva and Morte on Mercy. Yep, and Fnatic not wasting any time. Fnatic heading out in short order here. And we actually see a little bit of uh, Genji from Shofar. Shofar trying to get in the back. He's taken out immediately. And this is a powerful play for Fnatic. Fnatic's just going to go in. Yeah, it was a this one. Is... It was a one-on-one -on -one between their flanks, Tracer versus the Genji, and the Genji lost very quickly. That signals the rest of Fnatic to push forward onto this point, and the defense getting pushed back to the arch already. Yeah, I don't think this is a start that Fnatic really or that Sad Boys really wanted here, but they're actually able to take out Winghaven unfixed in short order, and suddenly, just like that, Sad Boys able to reestablish dominance here after the almost very costly Genji pick. Yeah, they gave up a little bit of ground, fell back a little bit, but it was to save the rest of the team to get behind the shield. So now we're going to have to see uh, the offense reset and how they're going to approach this initiation. Yeah, and what we're seeing right now, we're seeing uh, both teams sort of trading fire back and forth, but Sad Boy's taking very nice positioning here. They're just backing up, they're letting Fnatic come in, and they're not that worried about them just yet. Right now we see Stefan laying down Farrah Fire from the top, yeah. and... We see a few people down for both sides. We have uh, Lucio down on Sad Boys and one down on Fnatic, but things are kind of brawly at the yeah, moment. Yeah, Sad Boys is a little split up. I like where the Soldier 76 is for Sad Boys. We've seen most of the NA teams actually put most of their defense up here to start rounds, and he's so great to just do damage and chip, deep, uh, chip damage uh, from a distance. It's good to put him up there, and you can see that Fnatic is not really having it. They've sent a D.Va up there. They're spamming him out with Farah, so they want that position as well, but Reaver is kind of just... Uh, ting tinging away at the whole team with Soldier 76. Well, the thing about the uh, Soldier 76 is that he does great damage. He can just annihilate Reinhardt shields from afar. He just kind of sits there and does damage. He can take a very, like, protected position. Uh, we just had F Stefan right now try and take him out. Not able to do that. Big Zarya ult goes down. Most of Fnatic is inside of it. But right now we're just seeing Sad Boys really recovering in short order. Stefan getting taken out by Reaver. And this is a really nice defense by Sad Boys. Yeah, they did, however, lose both of their supports. So if they don't get them back on time, it might be time for a, a counter push. But their four down themselves is Fnatic. So this defense is really strong so far. This is uh, a strong defense on King's Row. If you haven't watched competitive Overwatch, this is longer than most teams are able to hold the first point. Yeah, this is a great defense on King's Row. Even if they lose it now, Sad Boys would have to be happy about that, contrary to their team name. Right now, we see them going in heavily. Reaver coming oh, in to... Uh, Flank this just a bit. Uh, Shunhel is going to go down for Sad Boys. This is looking kind of okay for Fnatic, but they're not taking it as cleanly as they would like right now. Yeah, it's kind That's of odd. Fnatic is sending all their tanks in, but the, the supports and the also damage classes were a little far behind there. I think they could have got this earlier, but it does look like they are going to uh, do a 4k and clean up the point. Yeah, I saw the Lucio coming down from Unfixed uh, towards the end, that really making it just a bit smoother, letting them take it without any extra casualties, but a lot of time was burned there. Yeah, they cleaned up so much space for the triple tank, and that's how they were eventually able to get that point. Now, we'll see what they can do in this alley. This has been such a, a strange thing to watch throughout the competitive scene. Some teams can just jam right through this S-shaped uh, ring of death, and some teams um, 
just get wrecked through it. So this is the middle section of the map has been rather different for a lot of teams. Yeah, it really depends. Uh, a lot of times you see defensive pharaohs just get such value with uh, Rocket Barrage coming from the back. Fnatic right now making steady progress in the payload, but we're going to see that stop here. And what a big Zarya ult coming in. All Fnatic getting caught in that. Genji ult coming down, slicing and dicing. And that combination of Zarya and Genji for Sad Boys making Fnatic the true Sad Boys in that engagement, wow. Zarya does not get enough credit, in my opinion, on pubs and competitive play, etc. Nothing is possible without her, her Graviton Surges, locking everyone down, putting them all together. The damage dealers get all the glory, but Zarya needs all the props in the world. Oh, absolutely. That was a great ult coming out from Zen. Zen got the ult, and sure, or sure for got an incredible follow-up. Now, for next ending up again, they have their ults, to some extent, and they're just going to try and push us forward. L defensive Lucio ult is going to go down. Uh, defensive Reinhardt ult coming out, but a lot of Fnatic going down, yeah, but there is that res. Mercy res. Such value. And Fnatic's still in this right now, Hex. Yeah, and not surprisingly, the, the fight is switching around on the strength of a Mercy res. However, Sad Boy's in a really interesting position up here. Their damage dealers are still untouched above this ledge. The Winston finally goes in to try to deal with this. Yeah, the Winston is going in. Uh, right now, Reaver is down. Fnatic, mostly at full strength. And they're making a lot of payload progress. I mean, they're sort of taking the fight away from the payload and just letting the people on the payload go forward as needed, but... Yeah, part you know. of the problem with that Sad Boy's defense there is they were trying to do something cute, get above them on the flanks, but then when it didn't work, they were they had to fall so far back and they give up this point. Yep, they are going to give up this point, and what we're seeing here is... Fnatic, they did get a little bit rocked by that combination, but they were able to stabilize and just push forward here. Yeah, they're not compounding mistakes. When they're dying, I mean, they are dying a lot, so it's not staggered deaths, but they are coming back as a team and saying, well, that push didn't work, let's try a real push again. It's It hasn't been as chaotic, so, you know, a lot of things we see teams, mistakes we see teams make is yeah. staggering deaths. Oh, here comes the Zarya ult, followed by the Genji ult. They are going in yet again, but Sureford not able to get the value that he got last time. It was a lot of tanks and he kind of got knocked back. And while it did kind of stagger Fnatic for a little bit, it wasn't quite what Sad Boys was looking for. Yeah, we see double Lucio ults. Now, really what Fnatic has going for them right now is that that Mercy Resurrection is up and available to use. Yeah, the Mercy Res is up. And that means that even if they get wiped here, they're gonna bring everyone back up. And I think Mercies are adapting. You see more Mercies just, you know, not go for the one person res, but hold up, wait for multiple people to get wiped, and then go for the three or four person res, because it's so hard for teams to fight back after that. Right now we're seeing Fnatic just push really, really deep in. Both Winston and Reinhardt making all sorts of space, and the payload, it's moving without a whole lot of uh, contest here. Hex. Yeah, they've continued with their triple tank aggression. Now they're not on D.Va, they're on Zarya now as well, but Reinhardt, Winston, Zarya, it's so much beef up front. I don't know how you deal with it. No, that's a lot of tankiness to deal with, and Sad Boy is kind of... A little bit out of sorts here for this last point. Fnatic showing themselves to be pretty strong as they go in through here. There is that res we're talking about. Resets the fight again and the ults come down. Yeah, that is a big rocket barrage coming down from Stan. Stan able to take out two people, us Sad Boys. Sad Boys is going to go for the res here. And we have really just Zarya and Lucio on top of this. Multiple people for Sad Boys down. And, you know, Fnatic is going to clean this up. This is the time, Max. Yeah, Sad Boys with the res of their own, but not quite the same value. However, these alts are buying time, at least. The cart's not moving. They are staggering in. This is the defender's advantage uh, coming to fruition. Yeah, the defender's advantage is working out. They do have those closer respawns, but they're sort of chaining deaths to some extent. Fnatic is keeping momentum. That being said, Wing was just taken out. We're seeing too easy here. You know, harassing with Soldier 76 from the side. And... It's looking like Sad Boys is going to be able to sort of just push them back a bit. They do finally stop staggering deaths and they're able to push back and gain a little bit of control here. But Fnatic with two and a half minutes, they have time to do a full completion on this map right now. Yeah, they can definitely finish the map, but this defense has been really strong. Again, it's hard to tell when someone's playing a good defense, but as far as King's Row goes, this defense is going good and the cart's even moving back now. The cart is moving back. And again, even if they get here, Sad Boys has to be happy about the attack run that they're going to have after this, regardless, because this is a very beatable time, even if we're the get capped right now. Oh, a big Reinhardt ult coming down from Shu and Hale, but they just did not have the follow-up for it. They're actually going to drop Lucille ult and a Reinhardt ult of their own. Reinhardt almost getting knocked off the edge. Big Zarya ult is going to go down, but they don't really have the follow-up. 
Fnatic and Sad Boys just sort of brawling it out here, and Fnatic's getting pushed back. No, not enough damage. The Lucio ultimates coming down give so much shields to either side that sometimes you just want to wait for it to wear off before you even try to aggress again. Yeah, and, you know, that was looking kind of okay for Fnatic for a moment, but... Sad Boys was able to get the two picks, and it just sort of snowballed it in favor of them. Yeah, and Fnatic's going to have to reset again. Now. now this is absolutely, they're in the, the spot you want to hold at the end. You, they're holding this high ground. They're, they've got the cart rolled almost all the way back to this curve again. It's really turned around for Sad Boys. Yeah, I mean, the cart payload is making consistent progress in the wrong direction from Fnatic's point of view. So this isn't what Fnatic wants right now. You're seeing, oh, do you see the Pharah being sneaky, coming out from underneath, but... A quick defensive matrix from Zen is going to stop that play from Stefan. I like the idea, however. Lucille ult's going down. Ult's going down for both teams at the moment. Three people down for Fnatic, and this is, again, looking pretty good for Sad Boys. Yeah, the Reinhardt is still in for Fnatic, and he's getting cleaned up. It seemed like half the team wanted to retreat after that ult, and half the team wanted to continue to push. And that, you know, when half a team wants to do one and half the other, then neither wins. Absolutely. But I, I did like the idea there that that the flank that we see her drop through, we see Reapers drop through there as well. It's a game winning play. If you can get through there unseen and get your alt off, you can honestly win this map sometimes. Absolutely. And what we see here, we see Zen actually going forward a little, trying to buy a little bit of time as D.Va, going up, popping defensive matrix, a pretty safe maneuver to buy a few extra seconds. And Fnatic now is actually down to their last offensive push, was looking like a surefire completion is now very much in doubt. Yeah, they only have this one last push to go with them. What's good is they have all their also, but oh my god, four down, a huge dead eye, I think. It was a combination of dead eye plus shoe inhale, throwing down the Reinhardt ult, and that's it. This is yeah, a successful hold for Sad Boys. A rare successful hold. How often do we see King's Row not go to completion? You know, it doesn't happen very often, and when it does, when it doesn't go to completion, usually it's because there's a big gap between the two teams. I'm not sure that gap is here between these two teams, but it was a definitely a very impressive first side for Sad Boys. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm glad that we're respecting this match. The hype of Sad Boys seems real. They just took a pretty dominant defense against Fnatic. However, that's only one side of the coin. We have to see what their offense can do. Yep. So we are going to be flipping sides here, and the time... Well, there's no real time to beat. It was 9.59 for the overall time there. So we're going to see where Sad Boys will bring it. It's going to be rough, though, in terms of deciding between the two for uh, car progress, because Fnatic was very, very close to completing the map. They just yeah, didn't get it at the last moment. We're running, you know, that's the difficulty we're running into with trying to do kind of an ad hoc stopwatch mode. Now, our rules generally say if whoever gets the cart further, and so far that's played out pretty well because it's usually easy to see. Um, we'll see how this game ends up, and I'm just going to leave it out of my hands and give it to the administration so that they can be blamed for whatever call goes through. Just blame the administration. We're merely the casters. We're not the, you know, the tournament admins. Yeah. Just blame them. Blame the man. But no. Tournament admins are amazing, though. They do such good work to really make this flow smoothly, uh, both for the players and the casters alike. Yeah, and a big shout out to our sponsors as well. And Rock Hat, uh, purveyors of fine computer accessories, keyboards, mouse, mouse pads, audio equipment. They've got a bunch of stuff. Thank you for sponsoring this tournament. We much appreciate it. Yep, absolutely. And... You know, without their support, it would be difficult to make these things happen and, you know, get the proper support for the players that they, uh, you know, that does encourage players to participate in these sorts of tournaments. And what again? And once again, we have Stefan. Stefan, I don't think, can ever stay connected in the middle of these games. Stefan is in, and then he just gets disconnected and has to reconnect. It, I mean, he's trying to keep up an air of mystery. Who is Stefan? Where is Stefan? Is Stefan in the game? It, you know, it's appealing. Well, Stefan is definitely in the game. As is the rest of Fnatic, as they charge out to defend now against the Sad Boys, we have Morte on Lucio, Volataha on McCree, Winghaven on Reinhardt, Stefan on Farah. Too easy, being mysterious, and unfixed on Zarya. Okay, well now we have too easy. He's going Genji. Kind of fits for too, you know, too the easy is the ninja. And on offense now, Sad Boys, after a dominant defensive performance, we've got Sure 4 is going to play Genji, Shion Hale is going to be Reinhardt, Reaver is going to be on McCree, Zen is playing Winston, Adam on Zenyatta, an interesting pick, and Rep is going to be on Lucio. So they're running double supports, but no mercy so far. They're going Zenyatta for this first point. What do you think? Uh, it's interesting. Zenyatta first point is, if nothing else, is very unconventional. I'm curious to see if it is going to work out. Almost certainly, the Zenyatta is there to buff up the Genji. 
And that yeah, seems very like something strategy. already. Genji with the uh, the orb on him, trying to get to the sidelines already. Yeah, watching Stefan now defending. Stefan, pretty consistent fair play coming out from him for Fnatic. Shun Hale is going to go down very quickly as Reinhardt. Zen going to get Reinhardt charged. And But that being said, in the backfield, Genji's doing so much work. He took down not one, but two members of Fnatic. He's going to have to back out a little bit here, but both teams kind of trading out evenly there. Yeah, I mean three to four kills on either side. The Genji is still up and doing work though. So while his team is reinforcing, he's still up causing chaos. Yeah, and the catch 22 of, the, of trading out evenly is that that really works out in favor of the attackers because their run back is much less than the defender run back. And it's looking like sad boys are going to very quickly, you know, grab point A here. Yeah, that's a very quick grab. And uh, as, as Fnatic was trying to defend, they lost a McCree on the way back too. So now this offense, we see the aggression coming through. This Genji with the orb is very difficult to kill. He's got the healing orb on him and he's just pushing him back and making space much in the way a tank would. Yeah, I'm watching Sherford. Sure Sherford sure 4 has no limit. He's going to take out Reinhardt. Still going in, is going to take out the Lucio. He just assassinated both Reinhardt. Lucio gets the fair for the triple kill. And Genji is going crazy against the McCree. He is single-handedly slaughtering Fnatic. Holy crap. What am I watching, Hex? Yeah, you're watching Genji and Zenyatta synergy, man. We saw this last week, too. This is crazy. He finally goes down, but now the Winston's holding the front line a little bit. They have so much space to push the cart. I mean, Sherfor just... He went in and he didn't stop. We have big skirmish on the cart now, initiated by the defense with Lucio's ult, and they've said, we've had enough. We're going to fight as a team. We're tired of this Genji cleaning yep. us up. We have a big Reinhardt ult is going to go down from Winghaven, and they are going to wipe not one, not two, but three members of the Sad Boys team and make a lost space. But that payload went pretty far. That looked like it. And an Surefour is on the way. You know, winner is coming. Surefour is coming. That was an angry defense, though, right? Like, they were so mad after getting four picked. I, the, the defense pushed so hard back. That was incredible. They were back at their S bend on their last, and now they're in the middle of the streets. Yeah, but right now we are taking a look at Shurfor. They're going to bring out that Zenyatta ult. It's going to really, I think, neutralize a lot of this aerial barrage. But Stefan is still able to take out quite a few people on the sad boys there. Zenyatta ult, not enough. Yeah, uh, that's been one of the complaints about Zenyatta, which is why he's kind of an unconventional pick, is that the alt is uh, not as effective as people want it to be. The range isn't very good. You have to be within a, a clumped up area for it to be effective as well. And we saw there, it did negate part of the huge ultimate combo that they tried to set up. It would have been a full team whiteboard there, but it didn't matter. You know, it's just not as effective as some of the other support ultimates. No, certainly not. And right now we're taking a look at Volataha. Volataha, of course, one of the better hits cam players for Fnatic. And here he is. He is trying to defend against Genji. Genji is coming in as Sure4, and Sure4 is going to back out just a bit here. But it's too late. He does get picked off. I think Fnatic definitely treating Sure4 with a higher level of respect after what yeah, we just saw they, a little bit they ago. They three people over there to watch that flank because they know a one on one is not going to work, and they know a 2v1 is still a, a dicey proposition. Shoot Hill with a big charge at Winghaven. Wing, Winghaven actually charging out. You don't see that too often for Reinhardt where they actually charge out. Fire Strikes being traded here. Two people down on both seeds, but Fnatic's been holding pretty well yeah. at this point. And this card's going back despite the, the flashy Genji gameplay. It wasn't really enough to continue uh, pushing this card. This card's rolled back significantly. It absolutely has, and... You know, Sad Boys, they need to make better time if they want to win this map. And a big... Reinhardt ult is going to go down. Winghaven cleaning up quite a bit. Four people at Sad Boys down. And Fnatic is really making this hold quite impressive right now. Yeah, one of the problems with Genji is that, you know, he did require that uh, the Zenyatta to be effective. And also, he's just not that great of a frontline hero. They just don't have the strength on the ground to sustain in these fights. No, they definitely don't. And I think they need some sort of Wamba or some sort of big event to happen. I mean, they do have the Genji Zarya alt combos in their back pocket. Sherfor sure is down right now, though. He was going a little bit far forward, so they're going to have to go through here without Sherfor. Sure but you know what? That, uh, Fnatic was down a player as well, yeah, and they're just sort of letting them push out. They took out the opposing Reinhardt, which really drops the shields, and then they took out Valutaya, which takes out their main damage healer, the sustained, consistent damage healer, and that's going to allow them to push the cart. Now we see too easy trying to get into the back of Trace right now. Shunhill, they big charge. is going to take out Morte immediately. Big Reinhardt ult comes down for Shunhill. Stefan, meanwhile, Firing the rocket barrage in the background. A gigantic Zarya ult's gonna come out, but they just don't have the follow up. Yeah. There's no ult to do. The, the, the timing was wrong in both of them. It was way too late. The barrage should have followed up the Zarya ult, and that's what happens when you get things out of order, and that's gonna mean that the sad boys are gonna get this next uh, checkpoint. 
Yeah, I mean, Rocket Barrage so good at following up the Zarya ult, and they just... The timing just wasn't there. I don't know if they were really looking to I mean, it's, combine the two. It's been but... the signature combo in competitive Overwatch so far. Yep, we do... A bit of pressure coming down to Sad Boys as they're moving here, but they have four and a half minutes. They definitely have time to complete this. And here it comes Fnatic. Fnatic is rushing in. They want to stop this. Another big ult by Winghaven. Winghaven is playing so well right now. Yeah, it's a I... It's been such a back and forth and amazing that when, when Fnatic does get their defense set up, they, they start pushing super aggressively and they get kills. Look at this Reinhardt kind of chasing just to throw out a lightning strike. Yeah, he was going in, and he, right now, take a look at Sure4. Sure4. Looking to be harass, you know, get some harass and get the kills that he was getting earlier. But Fnatic is definitely treating it with a great deal more respect. He has to really just watch out for the McCrane. Really Freeze good charge on. followed up by our ult from uh, the Sad Boys. Is there any follow up to the Reinhardt ult? Genji's coming in trying to clean up the mess. He is coming in, but a great Zarya shield on Mercy. Uh, not enough to save her in the end, but almost getting picking her out from that situation. Genji is going in. Genji is not dying. Genji picks off the Zarya. Genji is. This is what he wants right now. Genji's getting in on the Reinhardt. Genji poking the Reinhardt quite a bit. I think the Dragon Blade's gonna come out any moment now. Unless they're saving for Zarya ult. Zarya ult is up. We might see the Zarya Genji combination yep, any Zarya second. Here out. it is, there's the Zarya ult. Still no Dragon Blade. And Surefour is going crazy on this last point right now. Yeah, huge resurrection. Mercy gave her life to get, to get the rest of her team up and it's uh, Fnatic's last chance at hold, but they are staggering in here. Only one down for their attackers though. Yeah, Sad Boys really staggering the deaths for Fnatic right now, and they just need to kill a few more people, and they won the game. On fixes down, this is all the people on top of it. A friendly resurrect. Is Sad Boys gonna take it? Yes, Sad Boys takes map number one from Fnatic. And are we looking at upset hex? I mean, uh, yeah, a, a surprise. Everyone kind of expects Fnatic to win, be at the top there, and we see this kind of new entry into our tournament scene doing work with with a style that we've kind of seen before, though. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing new or revolutionary there. We saw bits and pieces of both uh, what Sad Boys was running from different teams. We saw the Genji, of course, from Soup Base the other day. And, you know, the rest of us were, you know, bread and butter ultimate combinations, but they were playing very well, and we might be on the way to a round one upset in Sad Boys versus Fnatic. Yeah, and that play of the game with Zenyatta just highlights what I was saying. It's just not enough. You know, he, he's sitting down there with Transcendence, which makes him invulnerable and heals his teammates. But when you have such high DPS, like getting rained uh, justice from above, just not enough. It, it doesn't sustain through an ultimate the way maybe Lucio's would. Uh, no, it doesn't. And Zenyatta, you know, it's a hero that, you know, people would like him to be a little bit better than he is right now. He's just kind of not just yet. Yeah, and, you know, it might be strategy, it might just be overall power. You know, I do think you could increase or make his ult a little bit better. It definitely does fall behind a little bit of the other supports at the moment. So, his, you know, his utility is great, right? He's kind of like the yes. in that in the same range as Symmetra, but better. You know, it's just got such great utility that you can't give him supreme healing as well. Otherwise, everyone's running that. So it, you know, the, the balance game is hard to do. It is absolutely hard to do. Those are wondering, that is the Sad Boys logo. It looks like it got a little bit screwed up, so we'll fix that moment. We'll be back after a short break for map two of Sad Boys v Fnatic. This is Ghost of Gamers, Overwatch Weekly, North America, cup number two. Stay tuned.
Alrighty, and we are back with the Ghost of Gamers Overwatch Weekly NA number two, and we are about ready to get in map right now, Hex. Yeah, we're going to one of your favorites, Numbani. Numbani. Numbani, honestly, overall, a little bit underrated. Uh, I think it's just, not only is it a beautiful map, I think it plays really well. The early part is fun, the payload part is fun. Oh, well, it just works out well. Reminds me of Naboo. Kind of looks like it, sounds like it, you know? Yep, it does kind of have that feel. Yeah, like George Lucas inspired this map somehow. You know, I could go places with that comment. I'm just going to leave it where it is. Yeah. All right. <laughs> it's interesting enough. But yeah, Sad Boy's one map away from upsetting, you know, Fnatic. Who, like we said, we, we've had their own issues and we we're both a little skeptical on Fnatic's standing as are they the best team? And we might have a new entry into uh, European Challengers. Absolutely. I mean, if Sad Boys were to get this here, I mean, this would be a vicious blow to the Fnatic going into the month-long break. You know, that would not be something Fnatic wants to hold. I mean, I'm sure Fnatic right now, they're okay if they're not a direct number one. They can handle losing the Melty. They can probably handle losing the Hubris and not Enigma. Yeah, actually. But yeah. if they lose the Sad Boys, who's sort of a newcomer, that has to shake their confidence just a little bit more. I don't even know what to call Sad Boys. They're from everywhere, it seems. I'm looking at their team roster. They got, like, Korea... I think uh, Switzerland, Canada, America. So they're just a team. I guess, you know, Overwatch crosses regions. Overwatch does need cross regions. It is a melting pot, both of games and geography, as it turns out. Yeah, but and we are about injury. to get started yeah. on the bunny. Taking down Fnatic. Yep. And right now we're seeing Fnatic come out. Morte on Mercy, too easy on Tracer, Stefan on Farah, Winghaven on Winston, unfixed on Lucio and Volataha. On Zarya. Yeah, Sad Boy's defending with Zena on Zarya. Surefor is going to play his Genji again. Reaver again on Soldier 76. Rep on Lucio, uh, Shua and Ka, and Reinhardt. And Mercy is played by Covered Up right now. I'll let you know in a second. And right now we are seeing just Farah throwing in a lot of pressure from Stefan right now to the Sad Boy's team. For now, this is a reasonable push so far. They're getting the picks they need. Things are going kind of well, but as I say, that's the fun thing about Genji, and Lucio, I think, was taken out as well, so just like that, you know, it was looking like Fnatic had momentum going in, and Sad Boy is regrouping in force. Yeah, they lost both supports, and then they lost Pharah behind it, and once you lose all your supports, keep everyone alive, and one of your main sources of damage, you're going to be in trouble, and Adam is playing Mercy. I'm sorry, Adam, my screen was covered up. And yeah, we're going to take a look at Genji in this, so it's interesting, they are running Genji on defense for Nambani as well. Genji not always seen as a hero that you want to run on defense, you know, people tend to favor him more offensively, but he can just kind of get in the back line and mess things up. We're seeing right now, Surefor trading back and forth with Stefan, and it's Stefan with a great direct rocket is going to take out Surefor, and this has to be what Fnatic is looking for, because Fnatic is diving right in there. Yeah, it's going to signal the initiation. We've seen a lot of teams come from this very uh, strange flank as an entire team, because it allows you to take this high ground quickly, and now we see Fnatic moving in with full aggression. Yep. We're looking at Stefan right now. Stefan getting in there on the Soldier 66, but he gets a mid-air rocketed by Reaver. Reaver with some great heads of play by Soldier 66. He, everything is in his sights, and what was looking so good for Fnatic is just mopped up by a combination of Soldier Alt and Genji Alt. Yeah, and of course Zarya. Well, that Ghostbusters out of the sky, then the Zarya to clean up the Winston in the end with Genji helping out. It's just a really strong defense. So one thing that I find pretty interesting here is that Volataha, who was doing really well yesterday on the variety of different uh, hitscan heroes like McCree and others, is playing Zarya right now. So Fnatic going with a slightly different roster setup today compared to just yesterday. Yeah, Volatayu is uh, allegedly their hitscan expert, uh, going to be playing all those damage classes. We'll see if this aggression works out. It looks like the, uh, the offense is a little scattered already, though. Yeah, they are a little bit scattered. We see Volta in the back, pretty charged up as Zarya, but he's going to get pushed back by Sad Boys, Reinhardt, and Zarya, respectively. Stefan is going to get picked off. Sad Boys still at full strength. Zarya ult is going to go down for the attackers, and I know you just see Fnatic trying to hang on here, but Chuyin with a nice defensive Reinhardt ult for Sad Boys, and Sad Boys, they're hanging in here. Yeah, they, they did all have to retreat to their own little corners. They are kind of staggering onto the point now. I'd be a little worried now. Do you want to come in and try to contest this? The huge res comes off. That's how you contest. Mercy was able to just kind of hide away, wait for the big res, and there it is. Reaver is back up, and he's doing all sorts of damage right now, S76. He has people in his sights. He is not getting taken out. Shuyin acting as a pretty good distraction there. 
And a big sorry ult though is gonna come down for Fnatic. Fnatic does not want to lose this right now. They don't want to have to set up yet again. But Sad Boys is just fighting this out right now. Fnatic in trouble. That's absolutely over. What the Mercy did, they had a player hiding in one of these flanks, and she was not in range to res. She flew to him using her other ability, and then res the entire team to keep the point defense up. Yeah, that was great. Also, uh, too easy with a nice bit of Diva play there is able to take out Surefor with some well placed Blaster Fire and a melee. So that's going to take out Surefor for, for, for a little bit. And Fnatic is not wasting any time. They're trying to get back in here, but they have to wait for their tanks. Yeah, they're going to wait um, a little bit, but not always just for the Diva as Winston starts into initiate here. And we'll see if they can follow this up with enough sustained pressure. Uh, Stefan is down as well. Yep. Right now we're taking a look at Reaver. Reaver. Kind of the unsung hero for Sad Boys right now. Reaver has been getting a lot of damage from the side. He's not really getting picked off the way he should be. A big Zarya all is going to come down. Multiple Fnatic members are caught in it. And they're just going to get pushed back again. This is so strange for Fnatic because last time on defense, last map, we saw that they were doing really well. It's uh, not staggering their deaths. It's staying together. When they die, they'd come up as a six again. And that time, I think it was a little preemptive. They didn't have full force. They went in and scattered. And then by the time the reinforcements arrived, people were already dead. They're always fighting at a disadvantage. Yeah, and I got to tell you, Fnatic is running out of time here. They don't get this in 30 seconds. That's it. The map is over. And Sad Boys has a very, very easy route to the round of eight. And Fnatic could be upset here. Yeah, the, the half would definitely be over and easy enough for Sad Boys to take. We'll see if this aggression can come through. We see Fnatic coming in right now. But Reaver has things in his sights. Soldier Elt is going to go down. Can't get mitigated somewhat by the Winston Elt. Right now you're seeing both teams brawling on top of the payload. A big Zarya Elt is going to go down, trapping multiple Sad Boys in it. And they... It's kind of a brawl in the fight right now, but more people for Sad Boys are going down. And there is the res! Mercy was able to slip away, and suddenly Sad Boys not sad anymore as they are just swarming over the point. Yeah, but the, a res of their own for Fnatic brings everyone back, and the fight is going to continue here. Pharaoh getting some good damage on the high ground. The Reinhardt defensive all goes down, though. It's just chaos down here. Yeah, I mean, both teams are throwing their best shots on here. Sad Boys wants to end this. They don't want to go to Pale of Face. And a big Zaryal coming from Volta. Volta getting every single member of the Sad Boys in it. And Fnatic is going to start moving this Doomfist, I feel like. Yeah, the that, payload is going to move. Absolutely enough to take it. There's four down. It'd actually be a mistake for them to try to defend right here. Um, wow. Talk about cutting it close. Whew. Fnatic desperately needed that. They did not want to have capturing that point be the victory condition for Sad Boys, but... Sad Boys still has to be happy for this. They have bought themselves a ton of time yeah, on that first point defense. Of space. This Diva's up so far above. Yeah, that... Wow. It was Volta really being the hero there. That was a phenomenal Graviton Surge. They got five members of Sad Boys in it, and they lived up to their team name because I guarantee you they were sad as they just languished in that ult. Yeah, that. all that said, it was still a really good defense. That's a long time on the clock so far. It's hard to tell when the defenses are doing well, but I assure you that it was a grand defense on point one. Yeah, but right now we see Stefan right now getting, you know, healed up by the Mercy, healed and boosted, and just laying down uh, Fairfire, and the cart's moving at a pretty steady rate right now for Fnatic. Rocket Barrage is gonna come down for Stefan. Stefan's gonna take out the Reinhardt, is gonna die to the Zarya. Two people down, four. Sad boys right now. I think Surefor is trying to get into back and did not have the greatest of success. Adam with the res though, and that is going to bring back Surefor in the back line. Yeah, an interesting res because it's not the same value as before and it's not necessarily needed, but it, I think it's smart because now they can still hold this point. The huge Zarya off comes off in the on the cart. Is there enough follow up though? Surefor is trying to get in there. Surefor is getting some very good follow up here. He was able to take the D.Va, took out one other. He's on the double kill, but he's going to get rocketed to the dome by Stefan. Stefan having enough of the ninja play. Shuin going to go with a big charge arc, is going to take out a member of Fnatic. And Sad Boy's sort of trying to hang on to the point here. Shuin's going to have to back up. And you see Re or Lucia right now buying a lot of time on the point, not letting Winston move it. We got it. I think if they can, I think they want to try and force an overtime here before Fnatic gets more time. I don't think they can, though. We have a defensive Widowmaker coming up with this huge Zarya all comes down for offense. Yeah, big Zaryal does go down. Both teams brawling out on top of the point again. Shuyin and Lucio just hang on top of the payload. They are not letting the payload move. And Fnatic right now just wants to move this forward to get the extra time. They don't want to deal with another, you know, make or break situation. Stefan right now desperately dueling Surefor. Surefor is going to take him out. He was a power boost Genji for a moment there. Yeah. And Surefor is getting so much work done. Is going to take out the Mercy as well. And this is what Surefor really likes. The moments where several moments of Fnatic are down, he can sort of get these one... You know, 1v2, 1v3 situations, which Genji actually can excel in, you know, if he gets to another... Oh, Huge see, charge. That's, 
<laughs> that scream that you heard was Zarya screaming as Reinhardt brought her to her death. Oh, I love, I love with the sound uh, design in this game. Absolutely, man. And right now, 15 seconds. Sad boys could hold this. Yeah, it's in a, the cart's in a strange spot right now because it's not really good for the offense. It's not really good for the defense. It's in the perfect in between where neither has the spawn advantage. But I think if you're the defense, you're still fine making trades here. I got news for you. Cheer for it is going to be busting up the Dragon Blade. Here he goes. He wants to get the Lucio. Lucio is going to knock him back. That was a nice, nice spike, but it doesn't matter. Lucio is going to get sliced to pieces. Winston's going to get sliced to pieces. Cheer for is going in. Can he get the Lucio? Lucio is going to go down. Voltaha. Throws out his ult at the last second, but he is going to go down as well. It's just Mercy. Will Mercy get the res off? No, Mercy was not able to res, and... Wow, what a defense by Sad Boys. Boys, that was that was a great defense. You know, it, it, a good defense in this game is making the, the first point very hard to get, put time in the clock, but you don't expect to win on the first point. And then, you followed up by just not letting him finish the map. That's a stunning defense. This right here, this really was play of the game because it saved Fnatic on this first point. It was a five-person alt. I have never agreed more with the play of the game than what Volta just had there. That was phenomenal on yeah, this part. I think I was just talking about like how Zarya just needs to get her props. And finally, Zarya got her props. Zarya did get her props. Play of the game did agree, but... You know what? Sad Boys does not have to bring that payload very far to win this map. You no, know, second checkpoint to make it definitive if they get to... Uh... Yeah, to under the bridge there. Um, yeah, that, that phenomenal defense and what a, what an amazing showing from Sad Boys in their first competitive action. Yeah, Sad Boys looking really good right now, and Fnatic on the verge of being eliminated in round one of the Ghost of Gamers Overwatch Weekly NA Cup number two. Oh, wow, wow. I mean, not not as surprising as maybe like a hubris going out round one, but still, uh, people expect a lot from Fnatic, and they they need to show us it right now. Yeah, Fnatic needs to hold strong. I mean, ideally, they need to not give up the first point because, really, I'm not even sure how Sad Boys held at that weird choke. That is not really that favored for the defense where that was. I think it was really just a lot of nice heads-up Genji play, among other things, that just sort of kept them suppressed and didn't let them move forward the way they wanted yeah, to move forward. Yeah, it was the Genji cleanup crew, too. So when they'd get a couple picks, the, the rest of the team, the rest of uh, Fnatic's trying to retreat, and Genji's so good at just hunting people down and making that retreat just not worth it. So they were never able to really sustain, even fall back a little bit, and then re-push. It was always a full wipe, and then they had to completely reset. Yeah, and Fnatic, they have to know that they need to... They need to bring out the defense of their lives here because I tell you, if I would, if I had the bet on this game, I think Sad Boys is going to take this map. Yeah, I, it's it's hard to disagree with you right now. They played astoundingly, uh, just, just some really great play from Shorefro. We've seen Genji's carry teams before, and um, you know it's not always just the Genji doing it. Of course, he gets all the glamour plays, but we saw Zarya help out there. Everyone's doing chip damage throughout. I mean, just some uh, phenomenal play all around through the team, and yeah, they look really good right now. So speaking of the sad boys, this is breaking protocol, but I don't think they're doing any tricky stuff on the attack. I think this is exactly what they're going to run. We have Lucio, or Rep143 on Lucio, Reaver on McCree, Adam on Zenyatta, Sherfor on that Genji, Shu and Ale on Reinhardt, and Zen on the Winston. Yeah, for defense, we're going to see Valutaya run Soldier76, Winghaven on Reinhardt, of course, on Fixed is actually going to play Zarya too easy on a Tracer on defense, if that's what they stick with. Morte is going to run Lucio and Stefan, of course, on Pharah. And I'm going to watch Surfor in the beginning because he is the guy that's really been making a lot happen here. I know the Genji first person throws people for a loop, but you know what? He's the playmaker. We have to watch him. Yeah, Fnatic already feeling the pressure here. They're holding further forward than you generally see teams hold around this bend here. Uh, generally, teams are holding all the way back at the point. It's to prevent this flank we see coming in from Surefort. Yeah, Surefort, you know, he does have that orb on him, but it's a little bit rough to get already in. Already got the Already Stefan's down. Already Tracer's down. Two down already for Fnatic. Yeah, this is a really nice push in. The Genji hasn't even killed anyone yet, but they've been feeling the pressure on him. There's the first kill. He is going to take out the soldier of Fnatic, and just like that... Sad boys are taking point A. This is a very impressive offense. What was that? That was the. That couldn't have been. Was anyone even defending the point? I didn't see it. I must have missed it. I don't know, but all the sad boys are on fire right now. We see Surefour making a lot of space for a payload, just out there throwing shurikens, spacing, and the payload is moving in. I tell you, Hex, they don't have to move this payload very far. No, they don't. And I think just based on what we just saw, the entire team's on fire. They're getting huge picks. Too easy down on his tracer again, and his alts are coming out for sad boys. Oh, the Dragon Blade doing so much work. Surefour able to take the double kill there. It takes out two people. 
And... He's still in. He's still... It's not over. He's still in. He's not stopping. He's pushing people back. He's able to take up the Zarya. He's going in. He takes out the Tracer in the back. That is a four kill for sure for... A sure four kill, as it were. And... He is still staying in. He is making so much space. Look at the payload. It doesn't have to go very far. Oh, that's Anyata. Or if he gets another kill. And now he's looking to target Lucio. I don't see how Lucio gets out of this. He forces the Lucio all to the very least. Yeah, he is going in. And he's going to take out another. And... GG. Yeah, that's... That is Sad Boys insane. advances to the round of eight. In dominant fashion, too. Oh, my goodness. I was expecting that, them to win that map, but come on. They made Nambani look easy. And it wasn't even their map choice. This was Fnatic's map. I, I, I don't even know what to say. I actually, I just don't know what to say. I mean, it just absolutely dismantled. And, you know, like I said, it's really hard to show how well they did on defense because defending is always harder to gauge. But that was longer than we've seen defenses on a lot of maps. Their first map defense was incredible. They knew exactly when to not wholly retreat, when to sell out again just to keep that point going. And wow, just wow. Good on sad boys.